We are, yeah, we're definitely out of steel. So let's queue up that mining. We actually have a third person now, so things will still get done even with a bit of mining queued up. That's why I didn't do it before. I was afraid that if we do a little bit of mining, then either the trees won't get chopped or things won't get constructed. It's sort of a hectic mess to start with, especially when you're under, um, understaffed, I guess. It'd be fantastic if we could get you. Urgently hungry. Oh, shit. Be sure to feed them real quick. There you go. Playing horses. You didn't get the best rest in the world, but that'll be alright. As At least you'll get a lot of joy. Whoa, there's a lot of you. Holy shit. None of you for trade, you're just passing by, so I'll just like enter and leave. What are you doing? Meditating. Alright. You're getting a bit sick of meditating, but there you go, playing horseshoes now. Nice. Hi guys, bye guys. Get off the playing field. Come on. Okay, so Dragonfly's doing the mining. Jude's doing the warning. Jack's doing the building. Jude. Jude does not do plant cutting. Okay. Not much wood laying around. Okay, so you should be... You'll do what you can, construction-wise, and then you'll move off and apparently mine. Nope. Hauling. Okay, that's fine. That'll probably be the uh, the heater, or uh, heater or vent. That's fine. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Shame about this damn marsh we have to cross all the time. Well, that works out really well for this because that means that attackers are really slowed or funneled in here, so I can put up some nice traps up in this area. Eventually, when I put down traps, um, enemies have a chance of sort of learning and remembering where they are. So you have to either, uh, like, move them around periodically, or just sort of shingle your defenses in such a way that, you know, tier one, tier two, tier three, and all that. And we've got, uh... Oh, okay. Some person's just showed up and uh, is joining. This is probably to make up for the guy that ended up bleeding out. And he just so happens to be Dragonfly's father. Daisuke. Oh god, no impressive bedroom. Oh fuck. You're greedy. Pyromaniac. Occasionally start fires and will never extinguish them. Great. And you're, too, you're just a big old barrel of fun. Your fiancé is a faction leader. Oh, shit. I was wondering if maybe that would give us a really huge boost to goodwill. Um, well, welcome. You're good at shooting. You came in with a gun and clothing, which is nice, and some money and fine meals, which is cool. It's an awful pistol, so I'll probably give you... You're wearing pants right now because you came in without pants. Which is a bit odd, but whatever. Um, paste the time zone so we're all still daytime. And we'll have you do... How about with a plant cutting, definitely. And you're a good doctor. Oh, thank Christ. Okay, so we'll put everybody on four for doctors so I can manually um, tell them to do it if needed. That'll be nice, though. A proper doctor. Another potential hunter. Spoils in one year, one season. God, that really does last a while. So, he's too smart, which is great. That means that he can... He's basically interested in everything, so he grows really, really quickly. And since he's kind of into hunting already, and his shooting's really good, he'll eventually be a really cool marksman, which will be great. 
So whenever I decide to start hunting, that'll be cool. But it almost makes me want to do a workshop real quick and make you start tailoring so we have some nice fresh clothing. Which also means I'll be needing to do cloth. Or, or hide. Which means if I'm going for hide, I'll need a butcher table. Which I need anyway, because cooking is something I need to be doing, like, a while ago. Look, look at all the hunting we can do down there. I could try to hunt that, but, ugh. It's probably pretty resilient. Hmm. Alright. Well. I definitely need more bedrooms. Which is, I think, 13 will be it. Five. Five. Five, yeah, okay. So I did it right, just shimmy it all down a bit. There we are. Wood door, wood door. Wood bed, wood bed. Get these out of here. And I am slightly concerned about this maybe getting too warm. So we'll vent it up a little bit. So if I were to... If I were to do the butcher table and all that... We can do it out of steel, that's fine. And I can put it out here, that's also fine. Put it out on this side. Mind that to get rid of it. Well, nah, I won't put it on this side. Do mind that though, get it out of here. Put in a door, production butcher table out here. Cool. We'll eventually do a stove, probably fueled stove, just to save on power real quick at the beginning so I don't need to do another one of these, though I don't have a problem doing that. And then... Cool, so I can tell you to hunt, and that'll get us leather as soon as we find somebody to butcher. Not really a problem. And then we'll have a nice supply of leather that we can do for most clothing. Not like toots and stuff like that, because toots require cloth, which you'd have to, uh... You'd have to specifically garden up some cotton. Why do you need treatment? What happened? What, do you have to lay down for your asthma or something? You gonna be okay, or...? Should I worry about it? Alright. Rest until healed. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Okay. Doctors care, but no medicine. No, doctors care, but no- you, you can treat him, it's okay. It's time for his sleeping. And you just tackled him to the ground. Okay. <sighs> not medical. Judith, you can go back to bed. Now you got enough wood chopped over there. We'll, uh, we'll keep some up over here, it's a little closer. We'll get there. Still going. I do need to work on defenses, though, also. Like, really quickly, I need to work on defenses. Which, uh... Which blows, because it's a lot of steel that I don't quite yet have. But I'm working on it. So the issue with turrets that I have... It's not really an issue. It's just, uh, they can be outranged by most weapons. So you have to put them in really creative spots to prevent people from just outranging it. It's not really a problem, but it gets kind of difficult sometimes. 
So like I'll do one. I'll do one out here. And I'll do up a wood wall. Turrets explode when they uh when they die, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five. But if you have your conduit five out, the conduit can connect to the turret via wire. This do that here. But the conduit is too far away from the explosion, so when the turret blows up, you just have to rebuild the turret and you don't have to worry about the conduit. It's quite nice, especially if you have these things like chained together. Um, then when one turret blows, you don't lose power to the others. So we'll do that to prevent people from outranging it so they have to go up and get an angle on it, but I don't think they're going to be doing that because there's marsh in the way. So that means that they're pretty much forced to here. So that's that. And then... Oh, nice. That's new. Um, I didn't actually look through to see what all was new building-wise. Put a party spot down, sure. Why not? There you go. Um, comms console. You start with comms console now. Oh. That that was last alpha, a, um, a research thing. Well, shit. Oh, well. Security first. Because, oh god. Put you up here. Wall it up somewhat decently. Conduit. One, two, three, four, five. I think you can actually go out one more. But, uh, I don't. <clears throat> no particular reason. I just, I don't. Another thing that you can do is people cannot stand on a sandbag, they'll stand on it if they have to, to repair something, but like during combat and stuff like that, they won't stand on a sandbag. So to prevent people from using this wall as cover, I'll just do that. Otherwise, they'll sit here and they'll try to pick off the turret using the wall's cover, and wall's act is really good cover. But by doing that, they won't be able to. And in fact, I will bring this up just a little more to prevent somebody from getting that kind of an angle in there. I don't really want to risk it. So we'll do that around here and there. I don't have that much time before the next attack. Sandra tends to attack you pretty quickly. And then up here. It sort of already gave me a spot, but I'm concerned about that way. So I'll build it back and I'll just rebuild a wall over here. Another thing that I could and probably should do, because turrets get kind of expensive power-wise. Again, power is not really an issue. I mean, look at all the trees that we've got. I can just do another fuel generator and eventually I'll be able to geothermal. But what I should do is rather than having them run conduits like that. Let's cancel that. I'll have to redo this wall real quick. Let me pause real fast so they don't queue something up that I don't want them to. We'll put in a switch. So two turrets, three turrets. We'll link them down into here. That'll be fine. That's kind of out of the way. I'm not going to be using that spot. And ordinarily I'd put the floor up so I can see it a little better, but oh well. And then that guy, I won't, I won't worry about it too much, but yeah, I guess I'll switch it. I guess the best spot to put this is wherever you're going to put sandbags or cover for your guys when you're helping defend. So for me, it'd be like up here, sort of. Uh, so then you can quickly activate the turrets just in case you forgot, because I did that last alpha where I did the switch thing. But I got onto my defensive spot and forgot about the switch, which was like way back here. Ugh. So that'll get done eventually. We're going to need a lot of steel, so I'm going to mine up probably this entire thing. Kind of getting colonists sort of quickly. I wasn't expecting this at all. It looks like sort of the minimum amount of colonists that you get has been boosted a bit, which is fantastic because, oh god. Seriously, last alpha was just ugh. 
That's horrible. Another spacecraft bit for more uh, components. Down there. I will put a huge big old plan over it so I remember. That's not entirely obvious. Never mind. <laughs> How about just this? I'd be like, what's that? And I'll remember. I can even make it an arrow, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> there. Just as a reminder, because that's a lot of components down there. I don't want to forget about those. And I don't think there's anything that'll actually destroy these. I mean, like, mortars and random forest fires might do damage to them. They do have health, but a lot of health. So I think they'll be okay just sitting there. They won't naturally decay or anything like that. So I'll grab them when I need them. Construction fell on a conduit, really. At least it didn't consume the component. That's nice. It doesn't always do that. Could also hook up the batteries and sort of do a, um, a battery terminal before the switch. So we charge there and then when I power the switch on, Probably do that in such a way that I have a battery reserve specifically for turrets. Now, ah, well. 23, 23, 22. These guys using 10 watts are not even really running. The vents will get installed. These will get a little bit of heat from these rooms and this guy. They'll still need their heaters anyway because we will get cold snaps here and there. Cold snaps greatly reducing the temperature for a little bit. There's also heat waves that increase the temperature for a while. I heard something flicker. I think that's just us not having enough power. Hundred and fifty is connected. One, two, three. The light. Lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, the lights will probably add up to be. All right, so I will. I could actually put some batteries in here too. It's a bit dangerous because if this, if I put a battery here and it ends up blowing up, I might go through the wall and take out Dragonfly. And it's scary to know that you're sleeping right next to potential death, you know? I'll go for that, deconstruct this. That means we'll have to haul that guy as well. They will automatically haul it. But I like telling them to haul it so then sometimes somebody will get around to hauling it before the constructor. Because otherwise constructors will blueprint everything and build everything before they even touch the spot that something else is on. Just a personal thing, I suppose, really. But we'll put the, uh, we'll put a couple batteries up there. Like one, two, and then three, four, something like that. So then if they do blow up, they're not close enough to anybody to really do too much damage. And they're also spaced out enough to... Make sure that works out really well if I just do it like that. Hmm. Just gonna... Let's just reinstall beds then. We'll just do it that way. And... Cut plants. Everything up there. It's like otherwise this wall, this will be like the very last thing that they build, and that's like it's 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 keeping this room from bringing a room. I kind of need that done. But if they went till the very last thing because there's a tree sitting there, it's just that much longer that it's a, technically not a room and people are sleeping outside. Hmm. If we get batteries up, I might be able to go back to uh some solar panels or even wind turbine. Wind turbines provide even better power than solar generators, but these also vary. They're also really big and take up a lot of space. Could put them up by the marsh. That makes them a lot easier to manage. Yeah, that'll work. It'll look a little nasty, but we can remove the concrete later on. And that'll provide us with potentially a lot of power. Bring it right up through there. So Ours is chopping. Dragonfly is mining. Jack is building. Yeah, building. Oh my god, we're getting a turret. Holy shit. We'll turn it off for now. This is where flicking one comes in handy. Somebody should be getting around to doing it really quickly. There we are. 
and now that'll no longer be receiving power. It wasn't anyway, because I don't think we have the power to give it. Struck compact and machinery. Hot damn. That's actually really cool. That's a good find. I'll go ahead and start mining that too. Because looks like we reached the end of the line here with the steel. Before you head back, I'll the steel up with you. Up a mod a bit. Whoops. I don't know what I hit cancel on. I think that may have been the hauling steel or something. I don't know. It's like if I tell you to do something, there's like a cancel priority that comes up. Hopefully nothing permanent. Let's test it out real quick. Like if I tell you haul steel, they prioritized work and can still. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. It's just the prioritize the thing I manually told them to do. Got it. Just making sure. More steel. Barely. That's the end of the steel though there, so we'll have to either mine further in and look for more. We do have a uh, sort of hidden... What's it here? There could be really nasty things back there. There could also be nothing back there. There's a shitload of steel there on the other side of the marsh. How about steel that isn't difficult to access from a slow going point of view like this? This will work out really well. That'll be just fine. Might expand this out a bit because of that. There we are. So put our sandbags down here instead. Nice. It does mean they can use the sandbags as cover, but the sandbags are worse cover than the walls are, so I'm not too bothered by it. So two miners. Am I okay with two miners, Uras, and Dragonfly mining? Because Uras, you could easily construct. How about with constructing? You're constructing, then mining. And repair, I suppose. Help us out with that. We got a lot queued up. And that's out of fuel. Sort of need fuel. Sort of important. Nice. <laughs> nah, almost a 1% chance now. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're not even really that worth it. I'm just gonna release you. We have four people. That's pretty good. Right now, this dude's basically just taking up food. He is a nice way to grant social, but I don't, I don't have a massive food source right now. We're down to just seven meals. We do have some raw food that we can eat, which is nice, but um, yeah, it's not good enough. Go ahead, butcher creature, just do forever in any area. That's fine. It's nice that I have a slider both ways now. That's good. So if you have a really nice cook, they won't waste their time on this if you set this down. So you can have the nice cook focusing on really nice meals instead of the senseless butchering work. Though the better your cooking skill is, the more you get out of the butcher table. So there's that. You guys are not blocked by anything. There's just not that much wind out there right now. I can cancel these growing zones. They're not needed. You're blocked by pine tree, but we're working on that. We do need to go up one more of the concrete flooring. There we go. Looks like he is actually chopping down trees. That's nice. They never used to do that. They used to just wait until fucking forever before they finally got around to doing it. Those beds still need to be moved. Um, these batteries, I suppose I can go ahead and install. I wonder if that blocks the vent. I don't think it would. But it might. Next up the map, healthy Tesca Combo Tona improved by 15. Which reminds me, I think I will actually put up a, um, a comps console real quick. We'll throw it just up here in the way of everything. We'll build a workshop, we'll put the comps console in there. A, uh, a mass storage area we'll put up in there. The tailoring benches and all that we'll put in there. It'll just be a nice big huge crafting room. Right now I'm focusing on security, but um... Yeah, we'll be moving that eventually. We do get some of the 
components back and steel, so it's not a huge problem. Everybody's got a bed. It's nice. And it's not... Oh yeah, it is. It is really cold, actually. Unroofed 71. 2C. Yeah, it's actually really fucking cold in there. <laughs> like, God, it's so cold in there. However, spacious interior, five. Nice. And you're very comfortable. You've been comfortable recently, which is nice. That's one of those things that lasts most of the day. And that can be done if you have a really nice, comfortable bed. Um, bed condition does matter. Higher condition, more possible. Well, more likely. And I suppose possible. I don't think a guy with the one construction can make a legendary bed. Might be wrong. But the better your construction is, the better chance of getting a nicer uh, construction out of it. So usually you'd have your best constructors working on things like beds. And the better the um, condition, the better the comfort. And the better the comfort, the happier the colonist. Sipping in a really nice, comfortable bed can really uh, save a colonist from, from breaking mentally. Same applies to workbenches. You can put chairs at workbenches and stuff like that. If you put like a really nice, uh, like cozy armchair type thing in front of a workbench, they, they absolutely love that shit. Because then they're like super comfortable while working, the comfort lasts a while, they're in a better mood while working, which means that they work faster, and it's just, it's nice. Ooh, plasteel. Mm. On the opposite corner. Uh, well, opposite corner. I suppose they're all opposite corners, aren't they? It's too far away, though. You guys trading or just visiting? Just visiting. Alright. So food's low. We do have frozen berries. And I'm pretty sure you can eat raw corn. Yeah, nice to eat even when raw. Not quite as good as a cooked meal. But they'll deal with it. And I suppose I can actually, um... Uninstall this. We have all four beds up. Four colonists, four beds. The prison, I suppose I could also install a switch for... Depart on the prison. That's... Do I care enough? No, I don't. would like to get that built straight away. I really, really like that. Can I actually? You and you stop. Okay, yeah. Need materials. Oh, you don't have all... Of, that's right. You have to have all the steel available or whatever before they even consider doing it. That's right. All right, continue on. I'll get it eventually. I want to call up that tribe and um, buy their friendship, or buy peace rather. I don't want to be attacked by them next. That'll put me in a really rough poopy spot. What are we doing now for steel? 114 steel. That's, that's not enough yet. Almost is. Hold on. Can you help mine, actually? No. I just, just gather it up in a pile and then just wait. Just hold on. Everybody wait. Okay, now. Who is this breaking on something else? Now work on it. Yeah, because I have to have all the materials yeah. available. Ah, shit. You're too late anyway. Thankfully, it's not too bad. Five people. Two pilas, two bows, one great bow, one regular bow, and a club. Not ideal. It is coming from the north, where we don't have a turret up yet. Can we possibly get that up? <laughs> no. Can I cancel that so we have the steel available from it and then work on it? No. Can we please? No. But why? 